In Egypt, the Arab Shield military exercises. Mohsen Milani is the executive director of the World Center for Strategic and Diplomatic Studies at the University of South Florida, where he also serves as professor. I asked him if these drills are meant as a message for Iran. I think the idea uh, that has been supported by President Trump is to create an Arab army, something like an Arab NATO, primarily to unify the Arab countries in the Persian Gulf, plus Jordan and Egypt, to contain the Islamic Republic of Iran. Right after the Islamic Revolution of 1979 and the start of the Iran-Iraq War, the Gulf Cooperation Council was established primarily to contain the effects of the war and to prevent the spread of the Islamic Revolution to other countries. Now, during the past year or so, we have seen that the Gulf Cooperation Council has been sort of uh, a, a split between Saudi Arabia and uh, Qatar. And now, President Trump is trying to create a unified Arab force against the Islamic Republic. Whether this is going to uh, be implemented. In other words, whether we are going to actually see an, an Arab army is yet to be seen. I'm not very optimistic about it. Well, talk to us about Qatar, or Qatar, if you will, which is now in a row with Saudi Arabia and a few other Gulf nations. They are not taking part in this. Uh, yes, it is true. Qatar has not taken part of it, nor has Oman, another important country in the Gulf Cooperation Council. It is very clear that the Islamic world, specifically the Arab world, is not united in uh, trying to contain the Islamic Republic. We see a very clear division in the Gulf Cooperation Council between Saudi Arabia, United Arab Emirates, that are pushing a hardline position toward Iran. Kuwait often side with Saudi Arabia and, and, and Qatar, but Oman and, and Qatar have not sided against the Islamic Republic of Iran. And we have to see in the coming days, coming months, whether, the, uh, the Riyadh, whether an Islamic or an Arab army could in fact be established. One of the primary problems that such an army is going to have is that the national interests of the eight countries that are supposedly the core of this army are not compatible with opposing the Islamic Republic of Iran. For example, Saudi Arabia is engaged in a rivalry with the Islamic Republic, but Egypt is not. Egypt, uh, Egypt's national interest mm -hmm. does not uh, call let, for containing the Islamic Republic. Let me move on to another huge story that has made headlines around the world, a tragic story, the murder of Saudi journalist Jamal Khashoggi. Do you think what has happened will change the long-standing um, U.S.-Saudi relationship, which are bound together by common interests like oil and security? Are we going to see a shift or not? Um, I, I believe the Saudi-U.S. relations are based on solid foundation. And the tragic death of Mr. Khashoggi is not going to change the fundamental relationship between Saudi Arabia and the United States. What could actually happen in the coming months and coming years is a change of relationship between the Islamic Republic and, uh, and uh, Crown Prince of Saudi Arabia, Mohammed bin Salman. But the, uh, the two uh, countries' relationship, as I said, is strategic, and the two countries share a lot in common, share a lot of interest in common, although their values are not compatible. All right, we'll leave it there. Thank you so much, Professor Mohsen Milani, joining us from Tampa, Florida.